Hello again everyone and welcome back to Programming in Access 2013. My name is Steve Bishop and today we're going to be continuing the section on reports. And I'm going to continue rebuilding that report that we started up previously in the last in the last video here. And uh, just to give you a quick idea of what we've got currently, we've got our different uh, our different rows are basically being displayed here with an alternating background color of slightly gray. Alright, I'm going to change this report, because right now this doesn't quite look like something I would want to print out for somebody. So I'm going to go back into the design view, and let's make some adjustments to the aesthetics of this. I'm going to give it a header, some sort of way of identifying what the report is called. So, customer address report. Alright, and then I'm going to change the font size by going to the format tab. And I'm going to change the font size to 20 and make it nice and bold. And I'm going to change the background color to a nice looking blue. Alright, let's resize this to make sure it's big enough. And then I'd also like to change the background color of the page header to something a little gray. So I'm going to right click on the page header and go to fill back color and that looks about good there. I think the blue on gray looks pretty good. That's a, that's a good color combination blue on gray. Alright, so now since that's gray and my alternate colors are also gray, I actually want to get rid of the alternate color. So I'm going to go, remember I can right click on detail and I'm going to change the alternate fill or background color for the detail section. Okay, just like we did with the form. Except this time for the alternate color, I'm going to pick none. And when you pick none, that basically is going to make it look um, basically uniform throughout the whole thing here. See, everything is white in the background. And we don't really have any way of designating one row from another, so I'm going to fix that right now. Going back into my design view, and I'm going to go into the uh, into the design there, the design tab. There is this nice little horizontal, this line that we can draw. We can draw it across, or we can do straight across, whatever we want. Uh, I'm going to draw one down here at the bottom, and go all the way from all the way across from the left to the right of my report. Now that's going to put a line at the bottom of each one of these rows. So if we look at that now, we can see there's kind of a, a line that delineates each one of these from the other. And that looks pretty good. Although I'm going to adjust the space a little bit for that customer name, I think. I'd like to see a little bit more of a gap here, so I'm going to drop that down one. And in case you're wondering what I'm doing and I just drop it down one, you can use the up and down arrow keys and the left and right keys in order to move it around one spot at a time. I'm going to move this also down one, this whole series down one, and that should probably do it. Let's see how that looks. Customer name, attention, that looks pretty good. Oh, well, looks like we got attention in there twice. Maybe I need to fix that, huh? That's not attention, that is address type. All right. So, one of the other things that I want to do, and you probably have seen this frequently, um, is I want to add down here at the bottom in my footer, I would like the user, whoever prints these out, to know which page this is that, uh, that this particular page well when they print these out there's going to be a sequence of pages they probably want to know the order in which these are page numbered right so I have this text box that I'm going to add down here I'm going to take away some of the format I'm going to make the background solid and the border style are transparent sorry background style is transparent and the border style is transparent okay and for my data, I'm going to go to the control source, click on the ellipsis, and that brings us back to the expression builder. And there's this option down here called common expressions. And when you're in a report or when you're in a form or a query uh, and you need to do the expression builder, there will be common expressions for each one of those different kinds of objects. And here we have page N of M. That's exactly what I'm looking for. It even kind of gives me a little preview of what it would look like. So page, and then and this is the page number, of, and then pages. So this is a concatenation, sort of like what we've seen before, which basically is page is going to be the text, 
and then page is the number that is currently being printed, and then of, and then pages, which is the total number of pages that the report will print. I'm going to click OK, and then I also want to put down here on the bottom the time and date that this report is printed. So once again, I'm going to make my box here, go to Format, change the back style to transparent, and the border style to transparent. And then I'm going to go back in here to the Data tab, Control Source, Common Expressions, Current Date and Time, which just happens to be now. All right. And you'll see it automatically gives me that equal sign on both of these. That should be about what I'm looking for. I think that's going to work just fine. Let me go ahead and move this around a little bit, make sure there's plenty of room for the full time and date, and let's see what this looks like. Customer address report down at the bottom, page one of one, there's my time and date. And you could obviously move this around and adjust this to make the size and dimensions of your um, of your text box to be whatever you want it to be. You can even um, select on it and I'm gonna go to format and I'm gonna say move this all the way to the right and I'm gonna say move this all the way to the left and save it so now this text box has the text justified all the way to the left and this one has the text justified all the way to the right. Let's see how this looks. That looks pretty good. I think that's that's going to work just fine. All right, so there we have our report. We're going to do some more things called, like uh, grouping and sorting because obviously we're not really sorted right now. We don't have things uh, in alphabetical order or in any sort of particular sort assortment. Like it would be probably nice to have the Richmond Virginias together or the Smiles Incorporated together, or maybe we want to group the offices together. And maybe we even want to do some counts. Maybe we want to know how many addresses do we have that are office, and how many of them are built to, and how many of them are in a particular zip code. And in the next, in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can do all of that.